Are you looking to get your first camera for filmmaking or step up from phone filmmaking? <laughs> there are so many cameras out there to choose from. It is literally insane. Today, I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on the one that I recommend to people who are trying to start making short films, comedy skits, commercials, social media content, etc. Whatever you are making. Let's get into the video. So hey, thanks for watching the channel. My name is Nate Killian, and if you're new here on this channel, I make short films, comedy skits, and filmmaking tutorials, and my goal is to help you take your first steps as a filmmaker, or if you're already a filmmaker, to help you keep taking steps. If you're looking for a camera so you can start filmmaking, you're probably looking for one that's not gonna break your bank account, is gonna give you a high quality cinematic image, and is gonna last you a long time. I'm just gonna dive right into it. My beginner camera of choice is the Sony A6400. I am literally using it right now. That camera, that one right there. All the B-roll that you're about to see of this camera, just gonna have to film it with my phone, because it's right there. So that's what it is. So if I'm being totally honest, this actually wasn't my first beginner camera. The first beginner camera that I had was the Canon Rebel T5i. And if I'm being honest, I totally hated it. With the Canon T5i, I could never really achieve the quality that I was aiming for and the camera was just outdated. It got the job done, but not exactly the best job. So after many years of using it, I decided to switch to Sony. And I went with the Sony a6400 for a few reasons. Number one, it was lower in cost compared to other newer Sony models. Number two, it was considered relatively easy to learn how to use and I 100% agree with that. And number three, it gave me that cinematic image that I was looking for. Now here I am, three years later. Now I don't say this next part to toot my own horn or anything. I would consider myself a professional in this field. I've been working in filmmaking for over eight years now. I'm a full-time filmmaker and content creator and I run my own film and video business. And after three years of using what is considered a beginner camera, I have just recently hit a point that I feel like I'm ready to upgrade from the Sony a6400. Now let's break down those three different categories that I mentioned. Cost. I bought the Sony a6400 with a 1650 millimeter kit lens for about $1,000. I do think it might be a little more now because there have been a lot of camera shortages, but generally speaking, the Sony a6400 with the kit lens is $1,000, only $900 without the lens. Now, if $1,000 seems like a lot to you, there are obviously other options out there, but keep in mind that this is a beginner professional camera. When I bought my Canon T5i for like $500, I actually think that I wasted my money because it honestly was a little bit too much of a beginner camera. So I think in the grand scheme of things and the longevity that this camera can provide is worth the investment. Number two, it's easy to use and the features it has. So with some other beginner cameras that I have used because the image quality really wasn't that great in the first place, I had a hard time learning what the shutter speed, the f-stop, and the ISO did when I changed them as I used the camera. With some of these cameras, the image was already so bad that the changes I was making didn't really make it look any better either. But with the Sony a6400, when you are having a clear quality image already and you're adjusting your shutter speed, your f-stop, or your ISO, it's a change that you can actually see. And with this camera, you can even change the layout of all the buttons and all the wheels so that you can make it accustomed to you so it's easier for you to use. Once I switched to Sony, I was able to experiment a whole lot more with my camera settings. Now let's get into some of the features that it has. One, this thing is super small and lightweight. I can take it with me wherever, which is great if you decide to make a vlog. It can shoot in 24 frames per second at 4K or 120 frames per second in HD very slow motion and you can very easily switch between these two with just the spin of a wheel it has different picture profile settings that you can choose from for editing purposes it's also a great photo camera sony even has an app that works with your phone that turns your phone into your camera's external monitor i'm even using it right now and i made a video about this feature two years ago watch it there and see how bad i was at making videos back then you can plug a microphone right into the auxiliary port of the camera for higher quality audio sony is also compatible with different gimbals and other equipment so that you can continue to build out your camera rig now let's get into that cinematic look dude that thing's having a problem huh that thing is struggling over there Dang! okay overall to get a cinematic look you need a little more than just a camera to do the work all right all right, it's getting distracted. One second. Sad. I really like that light. You gotta know how to use your camera settings, lighting, composition, etc. But like I said, Sony makes it so easy to learn how to use these settings that it makes it easier for you to achieve the cinematic look. When you use these Sony picture profiles, it makes it so much easier when you edit to really bring out the color 
in your images and really create a cinematic looking image. Sony also makes this really affordable 35 millimeter lens that I use for so many of my short films that really adds to the cinematic look. And what's also great for Sony is that there are actually many companies that make anamorphic lenses for Sony cameras. If you don't know what kind of lens that is, an anamorphic lens is a type of lens that gives your image that wide stretch that you see in like movies in the movie theater. So here's my overall take. I think this is a great beginner camera that goes beyond being a beginner. It's great for learning filmmaking, photography, making short film skits, vlogs. This camera changed my career, really, it really did. It taught me so much about film, photo, and video. And like I said, it's lasted me so long. It's been three years and I'm still rocking this bad boy. Three years of no issues, no repairs needed, or anything. The battery life is a little short. So I just bought a ton of batteries. So the Sony a6400 is a great beginner camera that I think would take you a long way in your filmmaking journey. Now the link to the Sony a6400 and that 35 millimeter lens that I was talking about are in the description below. You can click on them and check them out. Hey, and do me a favor, if you have other equipment or anything that you would like me to talk about or review, drop a comment below and I will see what I can do. Rhyme not intended. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this video or found it helpful, give this video a like because believe it or not, it actually helps me and the channel a ton when you do that. And if you haven't already, would love for you to consider subscribing to the channel because that would be pretty flipping dope if you did that. Hey, thanks again. My name is Nate Killian. Keep telling stories and I'll see you in the next video. Welcome to the end screen. You've made it this far. Congratulations. Did you know that it is literally 99 degrees in this room right now? Did you also know that I live on the busiest street in the world and every time a car goes by, it ruins the entire video? Yeah. Welcome to my life. Hey, at least I got a roof over my head. Perspective.